All right, we are back with some vampire survivors. I don't know if there's like any other games that came out recently that are like big or whatever that are like Bandai Namco releases or like whatever you're talking about. Um, you know what? We need coins for upgrades. Give me greed. Greed is good. You might as well. Wait, no, I was trying to save up for rerolls, but I refused to hit the refund button. Whatever, just launch me. That's why I had so much gold saved, man. Now, someone told me there is a way to get um, a new secret character. How does one get the new secret character? How does it happen? Make that noise more? Check achievements, sir. Why don't you just fucking tell me, okay? We don't want to tell you because then you would lose the sense of discovery for yourself. Instead, what we're going to do is tell you where to go to read how to do it. Just tell me how to, just what does it say? Get one curse upgrade and survive 20 minutes. One curse upgrade. One curse upgrade. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming this is something that's recently been added to the game. You know what they need here? They need a uh, a random button. Because I don't know what character to play. Uh, to play. I don't want to play X-Dash. Everyone says play X-Dash. They're so bad, though. They don't do anything. Make Mortachio live to 30 minutes. That's a secret character. Curse is on the power-up screen. Okay, hold on. Oh, it absolutely is. I need 7,000 gold for that. Okay, well, you know, <clears throat> real voice reveal. Um, we're probably going to do two runs. So why don't we do uh, one run, get enough gold in order to get a level of curse, and then do another run. I'm not going to refund because it's the same. Okay, I'm keeping my voice down. I don't want to get that blood pressure going too high. It's the same thing. It's the same thing as Rogue Tower. People are, I'm like, what, what should I do next? And God bless them. They write out an essay of what to do. But I'm like, I'm not going to read all that. I'm just going to play Super Auto Pets instead. I would rather do like 10 brand new Vampire Survivor runs than refund once and buy the optimal stuff according to a game FAQ's guide. I know that might seem at odds with please tell me how to do everything <laughs> exactly correct, but I don't know what this... You know what? We've never won with Croce. I'm nothing... If Everybody's a bundle of contradictions, you know, and, and cognitive dissonance. Put me inside of the mad forest. Thank you. Beet juice will lower your blood pressure. What are you talking about? You might be right for the record. I'm just like, but then I got to drink beet juice. I'm a noted non-picky eater. Um, and I talk about it quite frequently. But I will say, I do not like beets. I'll eat them if they have been plated for me. Mostly because I don't want a, a server to think like I'm a little baby who won't eat a beet, but I would never purchase or cook a beet myself at the present state of my life. You know, like, I, if you had a menu with two salads and one of them had, like, roasted beets on it, I would be like... I would take whatever the other salad was, even if it had hard-boiled eggs in it. Okay, I'm actually... I'm just going to start the casino as well. Start a prediction. Will NL win this run? Yes, no, and we'll run it. Honestly, I don't see a good reason not to run this for five minutes. There's no way we're not gonna live for five minutes. I know it's like comedic timing, but I, I'm not concerned. Okay, hold on. Clover works with cross. Is this, uh, is this Y or N? That's a Y, thank you, thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm right there with you. For me, a beet, it just tastes like a little bit like dirt. Like, I feel like I can taste metal inside of a beet. And I don't know if that's just because it's red 
So I kind of think of it like, oh, it's like blood sausage or something like that. Like I can taste the hemoglobin, even though I know there's like no hemoglobin inside of a beet. But it just, like, beets taste kind of, like, metallic to me. I have had some borscht. I enjoy a, a borscht from time to time. But uh, the beet itself, by default, I don't even want to say, like, I could take it or leave it. Because I would rather just leave it. But if you've given it to me, I'll take it. Give me Santa water. It's a very earthy vegetable, for sure. It's, it's, it's the earthiest vegetable on the planet, I think. I'm telling you, I can taste, like, the zinc. I don't know what it tastes like, but when I bite into it, I'm like, this is, like... Honestly, the, I feel like a beet tastes like what the treasury smells like. Like, where they mint the coins. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, you always want duplicator. Duplicator, hold on, I, I should know this by now. What does Duplicator work with? It works with Lightning Ring, is that correct? I'm a genius, it's correct. I'm a genius, I remembered one data pair. Ooh, thanks so much. More cross, please. Who does number two work for? So true. Can you believe there was a point in the Austin Powers franchise where Austin Powers didn't know that number two worked for Dr. Evil? That's the most unbelievable thing of all. Is Candelabrador what makes the Santa water pop off? And that is Axe. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good to know. Good to know. One of these days I'll remember. <clears throat> You want a tract orb to make the, the Santa water pop off. Okay, a tract orb. I, that's good, because I take a tract orb like every time anyway. Ooh, four options, huh? We'll take an extra cross, though. Yes, pop off means to evolve. It's true. You know, kind of like how uh, simians popped off. And we are sitting in front of you right now, making full use of our intelligence with the most sophisticated uh, distraction technology ever invented in the animal kingdom. Hey, Wyatt11, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Is this like Elden Ring? Thank you so much for not playing Elden Ring today, because if that's the case, I feel like it's my duty as a streamer and as a, as a empathetic human being to let you know that I'm playing it tomorrow. So if you want a refund, I think you have a minimal time, and that window is just closed. I'm sorry. You can, now we gotta make the best of it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep ripping that garlic, man. Hold on, and garlic works with something too, but I don't remember what it is. I mean, pops off. Pomerola! I just had the option! What the heck? What are you, Epic Games? I get it, because the store doesn't have like a refund, right? I did want to ask, by the way, how's that new Darkest Dungeon 2 update? I know we got Horizon Forbidden West. I know we got Super Auto Pets iOS update. I know we got Elden Ring. Anybody watch uh, Bear play that? It's Pog, it's Pog. I'm hopeful for Darkest Dungeon 2. Like, it didn't grab me at the, you know, version 0.0001 release with the Epic uh, exclusivity. But I'm hoping that it, it, it keeps developing well. Most anticipated game of the last five years comes out. You're playing Vampire Survivors. We'd love to see it. It's it's because it's not out yet. I don't want to break the law and and lie to Kaz Hirai of the Sony uh, experience and then tell him I live in New Zealand when I clearly don't live in New Zealand. I don't want to go to prison. I have a child, okay? I can't afford... Like, people rely on me. Even Dan broke the law. Look, playing Elden Ring today, I, it's not really breaking the law. You're, you're probably breaking some kind of like terms of service agreement that you signed, but I think like literally nobody who works at any of these companies cares as long as you're paying them, you know, their, their pound of flesh. Um, 
But I imagine that, like, you're probably... Hold... Uh, oh, ooh, 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 I remember we wanted a Pomerola. Pomerola and a Track Orb, which we already got. Give me more garlic. Oh, yeah, Dan got an early key anyway. Don't accuse Daniel of breaking the law. Come on. Also, I bet, like... Look, I'm not advocating for breaking the terms of service of any website that you want to stay, <clears throat> like, a, a customer or a client of. But you're probably, like, accidentally breaking terms of service, like, once a day, right? But it's just, like, minor stuff. Like, so many streamers stream the... 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 Switch Sports online network test that they specifically Nintendo was like for the love of God please don't stream this but like nobody gives a shit but if you like you know made your Nintendo name dumb dog they're gonna perma ban you oh let's go <laughs> that, ooh, oh, okay. yeah 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 gold me all right that's actually pretty good still that's a nice dopamine hit, thank you. All I'm gonna say is that like, I think one, and this is, I promise it's not just investing pilled, but I think one of the best things you can do as, as a human being to make like rational decisions is minimize the effect of FOMO. Now it's tough in, in gaming because like, you know, the, the marketers essentially, not their whole job, but a large part of their job is to maximize FOMO. So like when when it was Tuesday and Elden Ring reviews hadn't come out, there was no FOMO. Then like, uh, you know, the reviews come out and it gets like a 10 from everybody. And you're like, okay, now I kind of wish like I had gotten access early, but it's not so bad. At least we're, the rest of us are all in the same boat. And then every streamer on the planet gets access and you, you start feeling the FOMO. You're like, oh man, I should be like a part of this. But if I look back on like my my Twitch career and regrets I have a few but then again too few to mention I don't know the rest of the words but you know I, I've made a lot of like suboptimal decisions with respect to my programming based on FOMO uh, can you give me an example NL yeah playing all of God of War because it was like one of the best games of its generation and everybody was talking about it so I falsely assumed that that would correlate well with A, <clears throat> me enjoying the game uh, a lot, B, people enjoying me watch the game a lot, uh, you know, C, it being worth a permanent emote spot on my channel that still exists to this day, <laughs> and so and so on and so forth. Um, I should have taken Pomerola. Sorry, that's my mistake. That's my mistake. I, I thought we were getting our... our uh, I thought we were getting our evolved form here. So, yeah, I think, you know... It's, I'm not, that's not to say that, you know, you're making a bad decision if you're playing or watching Elden Ring today. But, like, in the whole scheme of things... Being not one day early on Elden Ring, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just chilling, honestly. I'm having a good time. What I'm saying is I'm superior to it. I exist above it on a different plane, honestly. I don't chase the trends. The trends chase me. I don't break character till the DVD commentary, etc., etc. But you didn't enjoy God of War? Is that what we're going to do today? We're going to fight? God of War didn't offer what I like the most from a game. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. I think it it's <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna get me in trouble because I'm incapable of uh, tact, okay? If you love first-party Sony games where you like you know watch a cutscene, don't press a button for 45 seconds, um, and then fight the same boss 20 times over the course of the next 40 hours, then I think it's like. It's probably like the culmination of, of the genre there, right? 
It's not as on rails as, as something like Uncharted, which is also, like, again, I'm not knocking Uncharted. Maybe the movie, but I haven't seen it yet and probably never will. It's just not what I want from a game. I, and, and it's more of like a... Look, there's different strokes for different folks. But I, I was talking about it yesterday. That's why, like, I like the Souls games so much. For me, the Souls games are, like, almost the natural evolution of, like, 2D-style action-adventure games where you just kind of, like, drop in and they don't tell you anything and then you just kick the shit out of a bunch of really hard monsters and bosses. And I, I like that more than I like... You know, here's our attempt, and sometimes it's successful and sometimes it's not. But here's our attempt at, like, um, a touching story, but also in the midst of the touching story. Um, you know, use your axe to solve weird puzzles that allow you to get runes, and now, like... Your kid's being kind of an a-hole. I mean, honestly, God of War, actually, it wouldn't surprise me if it hits a little different. Um... Now that I have a child. Not that I was like devoid of empathy earlier in life, but certainly it, it, things hit different now. Like even the Medea movies got me crying. I have to apologize, by the way. Medea, I said that she didn't hit any children in the movie that I watched, but then I watched a little bit more and she did slap a kid silly. Now the kid probably hesitate before saying they deserved it, but they were being very rude to their parents. Um, like very, and they did, their parents did not deserve it. But I will say in Medea's defense, it was not her child. So I don't think it's child abuse. I think it's just battery. And we, we covered that yesterday. So I think we, I, I feel confident. I'm not a lawyer, but I feel confident that that's the case. I'm not saying it's okay, I'm just saying, you know, it's not that she's a bad mom, she's just like a criminal. My dad told me he cried watching a Goofy movie. Yo, look at this beautiful carafe, man. Um, I, isn't, I haven't seen a Goofy movie since I was a little kid, but it's really sad, right? Like, doesn't, doesn't... Goofy's wife, like, die at the start of the movie? That's a sad story, man. It's touching, yeah. Um, everything's dead? I wouldn't want to be a doubter right now. Let's just put it that way. It hits extra hard as a dad. What's the, the, the John Cho movie where he's trying to search for, like, his missing daughter that's in middle school? Taragasu. It, it must be a pun. That's Searching. I watched Searching when Kate was pregnant, and it fucked me up. I think it would kill me if I watched it now. I think I would die. I don't need a revive. I'm not a coward. Knife is good. Hollow Heart is great for whip. We don't have a whip. We don't have a knife. You know what? Give me the knife. Is that the one with Hugh Jackman? No, that's Prisoners. I'm sure that one would, would also kill me. That would probably be lethal. Knife sucks. You don't know what you're talking about. Show some respect and decorum. Pri Great movie. Prisoners, amazing movie. Nothing wrong with that, man. Uh, also, I think we've just won the game. Are you seeing how fast we're getting levels? This is in the bit rate is in shambles. Don't worry, all the enemies will be dead in a second, okay? My first date with my wife was to see prisoners. Probably should have looked up the synopsis beforehand. Hey man, you know what, if, if, maybe it's not like casual viewing or whatever, but it'll teach you something. 
Like, I think if you... Look, you can be compatible and not like the same movies, but if on a first date you watch Prisoners and she was like, that was boring, you might be like, eh, you know, maybe we're not that compatible right now. Did you think it was like the Prisoner of Azkaban or something? Oh, evolved sword. Don't mind if I do. Which is a banger of a movie, by the way. At some point, I mean, I know I've talked about this before. I've never seen any of the Harry Potter movies. I, uh... I know, like, just to be a part of the conversation, I should, like, at some point. Uh, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to watch, like, any young adult movies. Because I know that they will probably find their way into my life ambiently as my child gets older. So when people are like, why haven't you watched Encanto yet? I'm like, I'm saving that one because I'll probably see it mm, 50 to 75 times in the next few years if I had to guess. So I'm just trying to watch like the most unfamily friendly movies of all time right now, like a Medea family funeral. Uh, you know, just to, just so I can enjoy some mature, serious cinema before I'm stuck in the in the Disney mines for I don't know, like probably ten to twelve years. Encanto will make you cry. Honestly, that there as a young adult, that would have made me probably slightly less eager to watch it. Now I'm like, you know what? I could use the release, honestly. I, it's like a it's a valve that it feels nice when it's turned on. Nah, it won't. Hey, but like, I cried at the end of Black Panther in 2018, and I was a much more, uh, I'm, I'm a much more sensitive guy now. So like, does that change your, your perception of whether or not I would cry during Encanto? Okay, maybe you will cry then. No, I didn't cry when Killmonger died. Okay, oh, spoilers. Yes, yes. I I cried when... Hold on. I'm gonna remember this. I cried when T'Challa... I was like, T'Chanka, 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 T'Chanka? Is it T'Chanka? I cried when T'Challa went back to East Oakland and, and bought that apartment building in order to make, like, safe housing for the community. I was like, this guy, now that's what a real superhero looks like. <clears throat> also, he never freezes. Spoilers, I still haven't seen it. If you haven't seen, like, Black Panther by now, you don't give a shit about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so what do you care about spoilers? Oh, and then in the post credit scene, you wouldn't believe it, um, Adam Warlock shows up and his eyes open, and you go, what? And then he doesn't show up again in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for, like, nine fucking years. And what the heck is going on with Baron Mordo, man? Like, it is... And the, the Doctor Strange came out in, like, 2017. We're still waiting to see what the heck... Mordo's up to? I guess the sequel's coming out this this spring or whatever, but... Who? Jeez. S Doctor Strange has two friends, okay? One of them is Benedict Wong, and one of them is Baron Mordo. He's the other friend. Or is he a friend? Spoilers. Please? I had completely forgotten about that. It's been, you know, like a long couple of years. <laughs> Soul Eater. Sure, why not? Why are these enemies still getting close to me? That's the only question I, I want to ask right now. Like, I have so many evolved weapons. 
Your ashes should be scattering to the earth. You should be no more. I need to hear your take on Eternals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I gotta watch it. Prior to Shang-Chi, I had seen every Marvel movie since probably like Iron Man 3 in the theaters. So it was like eight years or something of, of seeing every Marvel movie in the theaters. Now, Shang-Chi I would have seen in the theaters if it weren't for the pandemic plus having like an insanely young baby that makes it very hard to get out of the house for a few hours. But Eternals, I was like, there's no chance. <laughs> and not that I knew it was going to be like not that good before it came out, but I was like, you know. When I saw the reviews and I was like, you know, when a Marvel movie is in the 70s, you know it's going to be like reasonably entertaining. When a Marvel movie is in the 50s, you're like, oh, I'm going to, I'm staying away from that one. For now, at least. I was like, I'll wait till it's on Disney Plus. And then now it's on Disney Plus, and I still haven't seen that shit. Also, I know, I, I kind of don't want to see it. Because I love the trailer. And, and how they have to, like, make increasingly powerful beings work in a world where Thanos tried to destroy, uh, you know, the entire planet, if not, you know, half of the life in the entire universe. And then, like, they gotta be like, you know, hey, why were you, like, why didn't you help us out when Thanos was here? And then Salma Hayek's like, oh, they told us not to. You wouldn't believe it, but I know you think, like, Thanos is the most powerful being that's ever existed. And that's what you thought at the time. That's why he was so scary. But actually, there's, like, beings 1,000 times more powerful than Thanos. They could destroy three quarters of the universe. Ah, they'll figure it out, probably. I thought Loki did a pretty good job with it. But... You know. Upgraded knife? I'm insane. I'm the best. You wouldn't know Super Thanos. He goes to another school. He comes from another multiverse. I didn't know, by the way, when I made the tweet about Mike and Ike's. I didn't know how many flavors of Mike and Ike's were out there. I legitimately thought there were like two flavors of Mike and Ike's. I thought there was green and red. I had no idea that there's like a whole Mike and Ike culinary universe. I do like, I, like I haven't had Mike and Ike in a long time. But like I do like a Mike and Ike candy. I kind of didn't know it still existed, though. Like, I, I thought it was one of those things that, like, you know, time erased. You ever, like, go to the, like, the checkout at the grocery store and you're just amazed, like, some of these products still exist? Who the fuck is buying certs? I don't believe it. Like, it, like a little circular mint? Nobody's buying certs in 2022. Tic Tacs, maybe. I, I don't buy Tic Tacs, but I, I could see someone having a Tic Tac. But a cert? An Altoid, sure. They come in a nice tin. They're dangerously minty. But a cert? I want to just buy, like, Rolaids or something. Who's out there buying Neko wafers? I think we've done this before, but Neko wafers. Okay, one second. Oh, dude, this isn't what I thought these were. I thought these were 
like the the strawberry chocolate and vanilla like layered wafers with a little bit of cream in the middle what the heck is this Neko wafers are a sugar-based candy sold in rolls of variously flavored thin discs. Discontinued in July 24th, 2018. And then also discontinued May 27th, 2020. This shit is gross, man. I've, 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 I don't think I've had the specific Neko brand. But I have had... They're basically like rockets, right? Like, I need a Canadian to American translation here. But they're like Canadian rockets, right? They're little circular discs of flavored chalk. That kids crush up and snort to pretend they're doing hard drugs in like 6th grade. They're worse than rockets. They taste like Tums. Oh, man. That's Smarties. It's this is a common Canadian American dispute. Okay, it's, it, there's a regional difference. In Canada, Smarties are milk chocolate with a, a hard candy coating, and Rockets come in a, a plastic twisted wrapper. Okay, this is gonna lag up for a bit, uh, and they're like like thick Necco wafers apparently. What the heck? I guess give me Axe, and then we look for Candelabrador. <laughs> I'm just, like, just embrace it. Like, this is what I'm worried Elden Ring is gonna look like on my PC. I would like Candle Labrador, please. Plus two, plus two. Thank you, thank you. Canada just has better chocolate. I can't, I don't know if that's true. I don't even, I don't know, I don't know anything about chocolate. I don't eat it like, okay, here's, look, I don't want to hipster flex, okay? I'm not a chocolate snob at all. I just don't like how bad chocolate tastes. I guess that's something that a snob would say. But like, sometimes there's like good bakeries and like, you know, confectionaries in Vancouver. So sometimes, you know, my wife will get like, She's like, hey, like, I'm gonna go to this cool place and pick up some uh, cream puffs. You want anything? And I'm like, you know what? Maybe get me like a box of like the eight chocolates they make and like every single square of it is like $4, but it's like artisan crafted and then I'll have like one a day for a week. That's good stuff. But like just eating like a, a, a dairy milk doesn't appeal to me. Beta 5? How did you know? <laughs> this is weird. Somebody here is Vancouver posted for sure. That I wouldn't say it's a hidden gem, but it's it's a little bit of a hidden gem. The hidden gem. Is it, Are we doing anything here? I guess I'm just standing still for a minute. Santa water is a no for future runs based on the frame rate. You know what? That's a good point. Do you ever feel more like a Vancouverite than a Canadian? Oh, yes. Not not all the time, but <laughs> often. <laughs> Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Yes, probably. I think so, yes. I mean, it's like... Re it's complicated, right? There... Previously in, in my life, um, I have said, like, I feel like Vancouverites probably culturally have more in common with other Pacific Northwest dwellers than, like, you know, the Maritimes of Canada or the prairies and stuff like that. But then I spent, like, a slight amount of time in eastern Washington uh, and was like, that is a falsehood. 
it's really just like Vancouver, Seattle, and Portland are kind of like siblings. And then I don't really know what's going on outside of the rest of the urban areas. Rep Spokane. Remember I used to call it Spokane because I'd never heard it said out loud? It's Spokane? It's not Spokane? Spokane? This dude never watched Frasier. I watched Frasier! Maybe I've heard it said out loud, but I didn't remember it at least. I live in Vancouver, Washington. So when I lived in uh, Korea, one of the like replacement teachers who came when another teacher's contract came out, she was like, we, we asked her, we're like, where are you from? Uh, and she said, I'm from Vancouver. And I was jazzed. I was like, yo, like another Canadian. We could talk about like Canadian stuff. And then I said, oh, you're Canadian? And she said, no the real Vancouver, and I was like, you gotta be joking. Like... Like, that's just ignorant. That's like saying I'm from, like, the real Kingston, when Kingston, Jamaica exists. Like, it's just... Vancouver, Washington must be, like... I don't know, like one-fifth the size of Vancouver, British Columbia? Or yeah, you're. I go to Western. I'm from the real London. That's a much better example. Vancouver, Washington was first. Okay. York was first, too. That doesn't mean, like, you know, it's the real York. New York is the real York. The one where concrete jungle wet dreams tomato. I'm from the real Athens. Athens, Georgia. Birthplace of R.E.M. Anyway. I just thought, like, you know. Why didn't you just say I'm from Vancouver, Washington? Instead, she clearly had this, like, rehearsed joke. And I was like, really? You're gonna... Like, don't take it the wrong way! But you gotta know your audience, and you're an American who went to another country, and then you're just like... You know, basically insulting another country when you're there as an expat. And I'm like, you gotta, you gotta pump the brakes a little bit. You're a guest here. Next, you're gonna ask me what the building is on a $20 bill. There's nothing wrong with insulting Canada. Honestly, controversial take, but I think that's true. If, if you pushed me a little bit, I would say uh, Canadians are overly sensitive about our, our national identity. And Canadians dish it out, man. They make fun of Americans all the time. But then if an American, like, you know, doesn't know what the capital of Saskatchewan is, by the way, it's not Saskatoon. They're like, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm offended as a human being. We gotta be, we gotta know each other. We're our closest neighbor. I think there's, there's some countries on earth that's acceptable to make fun of. America's obviously number one. Probably the United Kingdom is number two. <laughs> Canada's gotta be maybe number three. Maybe it's in the top five, right? Like... It's in there. Like, we can be made... It's comfortable up here, for the most part. Like, you can make fun of us. I give you my permission, okay? The only thing is, like, if... If you make fun of a Canadian... Or if you make fun of Canada to a Canadian... Like, it, it can't just be banter if you're American. Like, get ready. It'll be like... Hey, remember the time the American women's hockey team uh, beat Canada in the 2018 Olympics for the gold medal? 95% of Canadians will be like, Hey, remember the time like I uh, got sick and I went to the hospital for free and it didn't cost me uh, an arm and a leg? I didn't have to go into bankruptcy? And all. It's like, just chill! It's just banter! Hey, remember the time we burned down your White House in 1812 when we weren't even a country yet? But it's like, you just... Know, 
Sorry, I can't hear you. My ears are plugged with free healthcare. Like, just, it's just banter. We're just having a conversation, okay? Is Twitch doing a weird hiccup thing for everybody? Um, honestly, I'm running smooth here. I'm running like 120 FPS right now. So I think it might be on your end. Hey, this looks good to me. That's why I'm spending the whole time looking at the chat, so I don't get nauseous. <clears throat> it just looks so good. Two fives in one run? It is five gold bags. You're absolutely right. <laughs> hey, that's still, you know, getting closer to an upgrade. <clears throat> Sorry, we've only got two and a half minutes of game time, which means like eight minutes of real time, and then we're free. Oh, man, some re-rolls there would have really hit the spot, kind of. Not really, I guess. I'm just walking around. I'm just walking. I'm just a normal guy. Just walking around. The gems, you will never get this. You will never get this. Since there's no Elden Ring, we should get a PB today. We'll probably play some Mario today, but we played a lot yesterday. So I'm just trying to, like, not... It's a delicate balance. Like, you ever play the game Reigns? You gotta keep, like... You gotta keep the elites happy. You gotta keep the peasants happy. You gotta keep the military up there. You gotta keep on rest. Like, you know... I'm, I'm trying to keep as many of the meters balanced as possible. I think I could probably just stand still. Yep. Isaac Head's about to rise up. There's literally dozens of them. I will say I'm having a lot more fun with Isaac now that I decided never to use the randomizer ever again and just, uh... just play Eden Runs. I realize, it, it, I don't mean this to be like a controversial take. I think there's a lot of characters, oh my god, in Isaac that are cool, but once you finish with them, you're like, they're not that fun. Next slide, please, next slide. I mean, look at the gold we're farming, though. One second per frame. <laughs> Same with the floors. Yeah, I think the alt floors are balanced too hard to be, like, consistently doable. I would rather just settle into a groove of just beating, like, the chest over and over, to be honest. It's go! Everybody relax! Dracula will be here in a second. We'll be killed. I did close Photoshop, okay? I'll have you know I did close Photoshop. I always do. I th honestly, I, I think it's just the fact that it runs like in window capture. Some, something about it like it doesn't coordinate well with with OBS revive wait we got another one coming this is gonna be a new PB oh I thought we had two revives oh I do have two revives get, get, the freak, get the freak out of there get the freak out of there. look at that a new world record <laughs> oh man hey look at that unlocked Cavallo what the heck is that new achievement evolved Santa water Oh, new achievement. Unlocked Cavallo. I unlocked it. I, I obtained 5,000 gold coins. Okay, hold on. 
power me up. What do we need for reroll? 21,000. We could possibly get there in one run. It's possible. Slash marker. Vampire survivors one. 